All right, good afternoon, everyone. Hey, let's do a, a quick audio uh, video slide check here. If you can, just uh, type a Y in the question box in GoTo. It might be a little difficult to find. Sometimes it is. Just let me know you can see in here, okay? Basically, that's what we're looking for. All right, Eric, Russ, Terry. Eric, okay, okay, looks good, perfect. Okay, you're gonna get started in just a second. Got a great presentation for you today. I'm excited about this, so um, be back in just a second. All right, looks like we're good to go. So again, welcome everyone to this presentation hosted by FFR Trading. My name is John Madison. I'm the senior strategist here at FFR. Uh, I'll be your host for this special presentation with turtle trader Steve Charpentier. Uh, the title is Mastering the Art of Turtle Trading, Strategies and Tactics for Commodities Trading from a 20-Year Turtles Trading Veteran. Uh, you'll want to stay to the end of this one. Uh, we'll be giving uh, everyone a copy of Russell Sands, one of the original Turtle Traders, uh, his book, Breaking Trend, Following Secrets, Extract Big Moves and ex uh, Explosive Profits. All right, so you wanna stick around to the end to receive that. You should see the risk disclosure up here. Uh, guys, I know you agree, trading is risky business, right? especially if you don't know what you're doing. We suggest that you put your trading in the hands of a proven strategy like the turtles. Right? We think that's a much better idea than trying to do this on your own. Uh, we're also in a highly regu uh, regulated industry, so everything I say, you know, has to be accurate today. All right, uh, before I bring uh, Steve on, I want to go over some of the uh, points that we want to cover today. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at who we are here at FFR Trading, you know, what our role is. Uh, we'll talk about the turtle story. I'll bring uh, Steve on, uh, do some introduction, some Q&A with him. Uh, we'll have a look at the Turtle Commodities program and all the educational material that comes with this program. And again, stay again uh, and, uh, to get that free Turtles ebook course. So who are we here at FFR Trading? Again, what is our role here? Uh, we are a boutique vetting firm, right? Well, what does that mean? And how is that different from you going out and doing a Google search? Well, FFR's due diligence process is better than a simple Google search because it involves multiple steps to thoroughly evaluate a strategy developer's qualifications and the efficacy of their trading strategy. And we have access to resources that you, know, you and Google don't. Uh, firstly, FFR requires that the strategy developer is referred to us by a trusted third party. They have at least 15 years of experience. Right? That helps to ensure that the developer is obviously credible, has a proven track record in the industry, um, secondly, FFR attempts to work with developers who have been licensed by various regulatory bodies, right, indicating that they've met certain standards and requirements to operate in the financial markets. Next, uh, the developer must complete a, an application and survey providing the detailed information about their strategy, their rules, you know, the performance, make sure all that is, is uh, working properly. Uh, next, we verify the effectiveness of that uh, those rules in the current market condition. We prefer strategies that are mechanical. As you'll see, the, the turtle's strategy is very mechanical. It's quantifiable, uh, rather than re relying solely on subjective decision-making. Uh, next, well, again, we're looking for 15 years of actual trading experience, but we're also looking for somebody who is a good, a good teacher, right? Somebody who can communicate that complex information and make it, uh, make it simple. Uh, we get a back test of the strategy going back at least five years. It's a, you know, additional evidence of that strategy's performance in different uh, market conditions. And then we get the, bro uh, the traders to provide their real brokerage account statements to us, going back as far as we can get them. Uh, that, again, gives us access to actual trading uh, data, you know, further validating that trader's uh, strategy and the efficacy of that strategy. And then finally, we launch it in a live market. 
right, to help ensure that the strategy performs as expected in you know, a real-world setting before we commit to offering that strategy and that service to our clients. So all these steps just show that our due diligence process, it's much more thorough and rigorous than a simple Google search that you might do and helps ensure that you know, we're working with high quality developers and their trading strategies. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bring in uh, Steve Charpentier. And Hello. Steve, yeah, I can hear you fine. Um, been looking forward to, to this for, for a long time, Steve, because uh, you know, I've known of you for a few years now, but we've never got a chance to actually you know, talk and, and get your side of, of things of what, what happened here with the Turtle Traders. But um, I understand you're here in Florida, like me, uh, but originally from uh, from New England in Boston, correct? Yes. I grew up in Rhode Island, so we're we're fellow New Englanders. Uh, are you a Patriots or Bruins or Red Sox or all of the above uh, fan? You forgot you forgot one. The Celtics. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I knew I I didn't want to leave them all out there. So, um, all right, fantastic. So we've got that in common. Um, the there are a lot of versions of the the turtle strategy of the story, right? Uh, floating around out there. I've read a bunch of stuff on the internet. Can you give us your version of the turtle story, since you worked directly with one of the original members of uh, the turtles, which was Richard Sands, uh, Russell Sands? Sorry. Yes, uh, the turtles. Basically, the turtles started as a bet by Richard Dennis and uh, Bill Eckhart. As far as uh, Richard Dennis had seen that in Malaysia, the turtles were being trained very easily. And they were surprised about it because, you know, you think of a dog being trained, uh, even a cow being trained, but turtles, but the turtles were following every move as soon as they were trained. And, what being a trend following system, what Richard said was, uh, I bet I can train any, take all types of people, gamblers, uh, architects, uh, various things across the board. Most of them were not even traders at the time, or at least not futures traders. He trained them. He says, I can bet that I could train them all. I give them each a million dollars uh once they're trained and let them go and i bet i can make everybody can make money and it did you might have heard of the movie uh trading places which was just a takeoff on that it was the same incidents of uh dan Aykroyd being a successful rookie trader and Eddie Murphy as basically a street bum, a hustler. And so they made a bet between the two, uh, Richard Dennis and Bill Arcott made a bet that uh, Richard could make Eddie Murphy a full trader in no time by simple trading. He did that and he won. So basically... Oh, go so, ahead. Th so then he says, well, I'm going to do it with um, the original turtle traders. He started with, I believe it was 13. There were others. Uh, he was successful there after one year. Then he started a second group of turtle traders, and they were successful. And that's why Russell, when he... Uh, his uh, NDR was uh, expired. He decided, besides trading his whole life uh, since then, he decided to start marketing the system and was created a systematic method uh, with Malcolm and one of the original writers of Trade Station. Sam Tennis, and he basically wrote a system that was started with System Writer and went on from there. And um, he basically, it's been changed through the years, adjusted through the years, mostly through needs. 
mostly through changes in markets, mostly from, uh, really mostly from going from the pit to all electronic. And um, he, he was very, so he was a successful trader, but also a successful teacher with seminars from, uh, I know brief, uh, seminars from uh, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Japan, Russia, England, uh, multiple other places in every part of the United States from Seattle to Florida to Chicago to New York to California. And uh, he taught individually these people in groups uh, and individually how to trade the way the turtles do. And Steve, how did you how did you get involved in all this? I you know? I was what one of these computer nerds that uh, everybody came to for help. Russell went to my sister, who we had actually dated for a while, and said, "Do you know anybody who can handle getting the orders out, getting all the back all the data in, getting it organized, and getting it out on a daily basis?" My sister said, "I bet." I asked my brother, I bet he can handle it. Uh, I trained for two days and Malcolm said, he's got it. He's better than me at it. Simply because I was an Excel guy and everything else. And so I started just doing the orders and getting that straight. Then I started websites for Russell. And then next thing you know, I was actually running the system for basically the last 10 years. and it came to the point where Russell actually left me the business uh, when he did pass away a couple of years ago. And instead of being his assistant manager, I became the owner. <laughs> but again, I've so I've basically been doing the futures for 20 years. So and, and I've got uh, guys, if you want to Google this, I went to Investopedia. You can see the slide here. Um, where it talks about the turtles, uh, the, that that whole legend, you know, it's one of the great stories in the trading world. Um, so you guys, you can check that out, and it does have some commentary from Russell Sands uh, in that in that article, which is, you know, Investopedia. I think everyone would agree is a pretty reputable uh, platform there. Um, I understand that you know you and Russell and a couple of the other programs you talked about have worked through the years to update the original turtles version so the turtles version that you use today is a little different than the original strategy yes. the, a lot of the changes were uh minor uh, uh, majority of tweaks where first time in five years something happened that shouldn't have happened but it was the first time in five years that it happened russell went to sam and said sam that isn't supposed to be the way the system works so Sam fixed it, <laughs> you know, and, but there have been tweaks like that through, throughout the years and, of course, different markets, evaluations of them, uh, which markets are successful, which markets are affordable, because we have clients with 25000 to a million dollars, literally. And um, they they were able to figure out which were the best markets. In other words, just a simple thing is you're not going to have a $25,000 guy trade a uh, palladium, for example, because palladium is like uh, uh, $150,000 per contract just on the, on, uh, on the requirement part. So obviously you can't trade it. Obviously, we'll get in further on it. Uh, one of the biggest thing is uh, money management. And most of the time I see a client fail, honestly, it's their fault. They'll make some money, they say this is great, and they won't jump one portfolio, they'll jump two or three portfolios but they don't have the account session two or three portfolios mm -hmm. because being a trader and anybody who is a trader or want to be trader has to understand you're not going to win every trade 
So you need money management to protect your losses. You want to make profits. That's the primary thing you want to do. But the money management we have written into the system is geared towards conserving the money during bad times. And there are bad times. But overall, year by year, we've had winning times. Let's let's talk a little bit, if you don't mind, um, a little bit about uh, Russell and, and his story. You know, he was a huge influence uh, influence on the industry for many years. You know, like you mentioned, written a number of books. You can see here uh, courses uh, taught the strategy around the around the world. Uh, a lot of people don't realize he ran a successful hedge fund as well. Uh, yeah. Started out, I believe, as a was a, a backgammon, a professional backgammon player. Well, Is that correct? Actually, uh, believe it or not, he actually started uh, doing stocks in Wall Street. Uh, he had left that when he saw the application uh, from Richard Dennis saying, you look like a gambler, you look like you're interested and you're smart, you're mathematical, maybe, maybe you can join us, and which he did when he saw the system. He was so amazed by it. Uh, he's a professional gambler, a blackjack player primarily. Uh, Bod from several casinos because he his, he counts cards. And Russell says, "How is I agree with him? How is that wrong? It's within the rules. It's not within the casino's rules because all of a sudden, instead of making three and a half percent per hand, they're making one and a half percent per hand, and they don't like that. <laughs> and when you're something like the gambling business." Uh, I don't care which casino there is now, even with the Indian casinos, they want to make money. They want to take your money no matter what. <laughs> so he was actually barred from that. Uh, but he is, uh, so he's a blackjack player. He was a back, uh, backgammon, uh, junior champion, U.S. champion in, in Vegas of all places. That's how he fell in love with Vegas. <laughs> He's, he says, all right, I, I can't win this all with backgammon every day, but I can definitely do it with blackjack. <laughs> so, but the whole time he started several funds, they did well. Uh, one of them blew up during... Uh, 1990, uh, when there was a, basically the three-year decline in in futures, uh, not a crash so much. We survive crashes because we make money in crashes. We make a killing in crashes. Mm -hmm. Any disaster, we make a killing because we're, we're trend followers. Oh gosh, it's going against us. Let's get out of these long positions and sell and take it for what it's worth. Just keep making it until it's time to get out. And our rules will tell us when to get out. So it's a good good system in that sense. It's been a profitable system for, I can only speak for 20 years. Uh, actually, probably for probably about 17 years, because in the beginning, I was still, I was more of a tech guy. I wasn't following this trading that much. Mm -hmm. But I was working for Russell at that time, too. But uh, but it's been out of the last 10 years, it's two winning, uh, two, two losing years were basically approximately 10 percent. Wow. So on the system as a whole, you, probably, you lost 10 percent those years following our system. But we've made 150%, we've made 200% uh, annual returns. Uh, but on average, we make 40 to 60%, which isn't bad. It's a, lot, a heck of a lot bad, better than uh, even CD rates with the current interest. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. You, you can now make you some money in CDs, but you're not going to make money. You're not going to retire on them. 
not these days. Um, now you talked about some of the 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 factors that kind of went along with having success with this particular strategy. What what do you consider as you've done this so long? What what are some of the most important factors of for success when when trading commodities and how do you incorporate those into the turtles uh, trading strategy? Uh, the important thing is to stick with it. To uh, some people get so disappointed if they're missing two or three trades, they're losing two or three trades. But really, on the whole, the, the more you lose in a turtle system, is the way you lose in a turtle system is the market starts consolidating. Mm -hmm. uh, the market just had a big run where we made a lot of money. And then it starts consolidating. And you get banged with enter long, then, then we sell short, then we enter long. Because what happened is we know that there's a breakout there. We just haven't found the breakout point yet. Mm -hmm. And we have to let the market decide because the market is going to decide. But the thing is, is that the biggest thing Russell said, somebody uh, all said throughout the years was, oh, okay, you're losing some. Just stick with it. Just stick with it. And the ones that stuck with it made, went on to make some money. Other people just said, ah, that's it. Uh, I lost 20% of my account. This isn't for me. And they leave. You know, well, they're not going to make turtle results by leaving on a 20% loss, short-term loss. Because we have money management rules. We have money management is just as important as trend following is and following the trends. Getting out of the trends is just as important. Money management rules are things like risk. While we figure we have portfolios going from 15,000 trading four markets, the markets are all diversified in different complexes. So, increase in if uh, the currencies are going bad, but uh, the meats are going good and the grain is going good. You can make more in the grains because you could you with your physical rules, you're not going to get out if you're winning. You're going to get out if you suffer some losses or losses of profits, but not fully lost, but you're starting to go against you. That's when we get out. We have money management rules saying, okay, we'll get out. Uh, if it's a big winner, uh, we have the money management rules about looking at a 10 week breakout rather than a four week breakout because it's a longer trend. It shows more interest in it. Uh, you, you can, if you have a smaller account trading a short dollar portfolio, the markets we pick for you will and they're recommended markets. In other words, you could trade corn or bean or one or the other with a 25K. You can't trade both because you need to diversify into an interest rate. You need to diversify into a, um, a, a grain, a uh, interest rate, a currency. So what happens is we want to be in different complexes because we want to push winners and we're never sure when we enter a trade this is going to take off we just know if we enter 10 trades in different complexes historically most of them end up winners and even those that lose some the winners are unlimited I, I always tell this story simply because I remember way back, uh, I was talking to a client and he saw on my nightly orders that uh, we had just finished a trade with gold. I forget what it was, but it was $210, I think, or 208 or something like that. And it had never broken 200 before. We got out of the trade as, as we were supposed to at the time we were supposed to, according to our money management rules. 
And next thing you know, in the next day's orders, I have a, a buy uh, just above our previous high. And they said, what are you doing? I get the guy screaming at me, swearing at me. What are you doing? You're crazy. It's $210. It's never going to go up higher. I said, that's up to you. Our rules, and that's the thing is, is follow the rules. They're written for a reason by experts. They're written uh, to succeed. I said, we're taking the trade. You don't have to. It's your decision. Our clients always have their own decision. They go through their broker. They handle all the money. Nothing to do with us as far as that. All we do is try to make the money in the account. Uh, before gold finished up, it went up to $267 an ounce. And, excuse me, $2,600 an ounce. And it was unbelievable. And we made ourselves a good killing on it. It wasn't the best gold trade we ever had, but it was a very, very successful one. The guy called back and said, Steve, I'm sorry. I apologize. Forgive me. I'll never argue with you again. <laughs> well, and that, that is the difference, right, between uh, having success at this game and failing. you got to follow, be able to follow a good set of rules, and most right. people can't do that. And that's what has made the Turtles so successful over the years and what exactly. makes you so great. Uh, you're such a disciplined trader. You follow the rules because you never know what the market's going to do, like that guy said. You know, there's no way gold's going higher, and what does it do? It goes higher, right? Um, it's to new so, highs. <laughs> to new highs. So let's get into some of the 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 programs and the academics of the of the programs here. Um, we were talking about the Turtles Commodities Program, that one every, everyone is familiar with, but you also right. developed uh, with Russell this uh, what's called Balance Trader. Talk briefly about the Balance Trader strategy. Okay, one thing about Balance Trader, it's a time limited system. You're only in for, depending on the rules on the entry, uh, 10, to, 10 to 12 days. We'll get in again, if need be, but it's a short-term system. It's a quick, easy system. Um, it goes counter-trend for some things in which uh, we will buy on lows because it meets other indicators that are stronger. So a turtle system will never buy on lows. They'll sell on lows, but they'll never buy on lows. It's a trend following system. Balance Trader is a combined, a complex of a trend following system, a short term trend following system, but also it buys on weakness. If it sees all the indicators are there, certain indicators are there, saying we should be buying this, but we're not. And it just hit new lows, but it's above the moving average, 150 day moving average. It's a, so many things are are there, we'll get in on it. And some of our most successful trades are those because you're also picking up from being under the trend line, but you're also making profits above the trend line. So you make double profits in those. Um, a balance Trader is a good program, but the problem with Balance Trader is it's a selective program. It's really a tight rules. And sometimes with banks collapsing and uh, interest rates going up and you know things all happen at once, it's a time where we don't have a signal. You may have two to even three on very rare, very rare through uh, 20 years. Uh, and I know because our balance trader was the same time, same year I started. So it's 20 years, 1993. And so what happens with it though, you can have five, six winning trades in a row 
all taking off like a ladder. So, and that's where, so you won't have, haven't traded for two months. Mm-hmm. And then you have uh, three trades a month. <laughs> you know, we got out of a trade and we get back in. Or we do a reverse on it. Or it's just a good solid. It only trades stock indexes. Only to, we, we didn't decided not to trade the Russell. We tested it and it just didn't test well for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure why. I guess it's a little different because of the underlying uh, markets within it. But uh, the Dow, the star, uh, the S and P, and the Nasdaq have all done very well with us. Uh, Nasdaq's gotten a little expensive because it made so much money. <laughs> So and I, I've seen, uh, you know, I've seen the, the the numbers on the balance trade over the years. The performance is, is is great, and we've got a number of clients in that program. And it just trades, like you said, Dow, Nasdaq, S and P, and it only trades to the long side, correct? Right, because we believe stock indexes as a whole are probably fifty percent investments. Clients will buy. Uh, Bank of Boston, they'll buy AT and T, they'll buy, they'll definitely buy Apple, uh, Cisco, et cetera, et cetera, and they're using it as an investment. They, which is fine. They're not going to make the high end profits on it, but they're making their standard dividends on a regular basis. And we find that's an ideal place for a lot of IRAs as a backup to have that steady income where you notice and then have the turtle system as going for the larger profits. Where, as you, you'll see and you, have, you show some on this, uh, clients are doubling and tripling their IRAs, uh, you know. Which is a great way to trade when you have a problem, you know. Uh, so here's some of the uh, the academic guidelines for the commodity sure. programs. And I just wanted to touch on some of these points here. You're trading. There's over 50 commodities that that you're trading as part of this program. Right. Um, but you break the, these commodities down into portfolio sizes, like we call right. basket sizes. So if somebody's trading with twenty thousand dollars, they're not going to be trading all 50 commodities, right? They're going to be trading maybe be trading four all to six, right? Um, and it's a again, it's a breakout trend following strategy. It's that hasn't changed over the years. Um, and you have those stops, both stops, you know, initial stops and trailing stops, right? Those you say are very critical. Um, and you've got, you know, a number of different indicators that you're looking at from uh, like average true range, you know, you're measuring volatility, right. uh, anything, anything you want to add to, uh, to that? Uh, simply, uh, the, basic, the basis we use with the smaller portfolios, they're a little bit riskier than the larger portfolios by saying that 25,000 is a little bit riskier than 100,000. So we want to make sure we get you to 100,000 quick. Uh, the thing is, is there's risk because you're only trading four markets to, to six markets. 25,000 would trade six. A diversified in which we trade basically uh, everything from platinum to corn to uh, lean hogs to five year rates. Uh, we don't trade the index futures as of yet. That's in the next level. That's in the $30,000 range simply because. Uh, the margin for the index futures is a little high. So we know that. We, a small account isn't going to be able to trade the index futures. He's going to have to wait till he's up to thirty-five to 50000 Now he can trade like the mini Dow. Same thing with the metals. The best metals are gold, of course, copper for a um, commercial 
valuable metal. That, uh, but again, they take at least a base of 40,000 for them to trade. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that being is we, we believe in diversifying because it doesn't do us any good if corn is taken off through the moon. Well, we don't trade corn. We trade uh, the currencies. We trade the mini yen. And the yen is collapsing because the Bank, uh, bank of Japan just had a um, intervention because they, they're very tightly controlled by interventions and they purpose and they buy more than any futures markets in the world uh futures traders should say in the world because they intervene so much they decide oh we want it to go up well you know what we're going to start buying and we're going to uh, uh we're going to buy 10 10 million yen then we're going to buy uh 200 million yen if it didn't work and if they try to nudge it along, uh, you can make money on it. Again, mm -hmm. we're trend followers. The difference is, is the market didn't set the trend, the bank set the trend. Okay, a trend is a trend is a trend. But uh, it can get difficult at time of consolidation or whatever when the banks play with it a little too much. They're disrupting the natural flow of the trend forcing their own will on the trend. And you'd be surprised how many times you see them force their will on the trend and it falls apart. The, the uh, traders are too smart. They say, no, we don't believe this. We still think it's going to go down. <laughs> we're, we're not going to buy that, you know? And so of course the market takes over and the, the bank has to settle with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we say a different size commodity bank from four to over 50. That actually it's uh, over 44 because we're counting in those, the minis. Right. Uh, the mini yen as well as the big yen. Uh, those are, and the basic thing between that is a small thing when we're trading the whole thing, but uh, you're paying half the commission on a big yen is a small yen. Right. 50%. It's half the price, half, half everything. It's 50%, you know? But the difference is, is now you're paying only half as much to buy the market so you can get in with a smaller account. Uh, when we get to over 100,000, we go to the big yen from the mini yen. Again, it's money management and everything else. We could save those twenty dollars, forty dollars, forty-five dollar round trips on every trade, especially with multiples. So it's again, small things make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, takes advantage of market fluctuation volatility, where the markets have a clear direction. Bull and bear. Uh, we that's what I mean by if a market takes off, we're going to buy. If it falls down, we're going to sell. Uh, one thing you got to remember is a market can only go to zero. A market can go to $500 per, per unit or higher. So there's more possibility in up markets mm -hmm. because there's a natural thing of you can only trade so low. And if you remember a year ago, which I got out and I made some money and I resold it, uh, the stock index has collapsed. Uh, excuse me, the crude collapsed, and a lot of bank, a lot of traders got caught with trading zero in crude, and they got wiped out. Right, remember that. Well, we didn't. We go. We got out at was watching it every day and I said, that's it. We're getting out of $17. Of course, once it, once it crashed, it went up to 50 odd dollars per hour. So we just sold again and double dipped. Yep. And I just, I was smiling the whole way. You know, 
Uh, Steve, one of one of the big questions that people ask these days is, does the turtle system still work today? Um, so I want to go through uh, some of the here's some of the testimonials from our clients at, here at FFR that are uh, in that uh, program, the Turtles Commodities Program, like Dr. Striegel here. Um, you know, he's a uh, practice. Yeah, so you've you've worked with these guys. Um, you know, he was a, a 65 year old physician. He says he he went through some struggles. Uh, he was familiar with the markets. He you know he worked in the financial markets um, as an investor for many years, but really never had success. And then he got into turtles commodities, and that really really uh, changed his financial life. Um, this is a review of his account. Uh, this is going back from 2019 through uh, 2022. Um, he started with $20,000 and his account value at the end of, uh, I believe that was uh, July of 2022, uh, account value of $244,776. So that's over a thousand percent return during that period. And you can see all the withdrawals that he made. So obviously he was taking out profit as he went along here. So, you know, 10,000 in November of 2020, uh, in February of 2021, another 10,000, uh, March 10,000, in May uh, 30,000 he withdrew. Uh, so he's withdrawing to the total of about 117,000 in, in profit. Right. Uh, right. Most people, when they see these kind of numbers, they think this could only happen if it was Bitcoin, but this was happening in the commodities. Exactly. Uh, without the the risk that people were taking in in Bitcoin, um, here's uh, another one of my clients, uh, Captain J. One quick thing, I yeah. know you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. One go ahead. One thing about Cisco is he did it right. You see all his withdrawals. Mm -hmm. I find too many clients with small accounts using it like a bank account, like a savings account. And what happens is they're not increasing their account value till they make some real money. They're staying down in that small portfolio size or the second small portfolio size, and it's actually defeating them. It is a small futures account is not a bank account. It isn't, you're not getting dividends or anything. He did it the way he should have. He made a lot of money and decided, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to take some back, but he still has a lot of money. That's a big difference in there. And it's a very, again, follow the rules. It's a, it just in, ingrained in me. He did it correctly. Yes. Um, and this is, this is uh, another my client, Captain Jay. Uh, right. Great story. Um, I know you've spoken to him a number of times. Uh, he was actually, he was a long-term commodity uh, um, client. Uh, been with us a number of years, but he's he goes out to sea. Obviously, he's a captain of a ship, and he goes out to sea for months at a time. Well, he got into the commodities program a number of years ago with about $75,000 uh, and disappeared. And he, uh, I finally, a number of years later, I was finally able to get a hold of him. And he said, you know, I'm glad you called. I, I apologize. I checked out for a number of years. I haven't looked at my statements. He said, I have, I know I've lost everything. Uh, but he said, I'm ready to start again. I'm engaged. And I said, you know, uh, you've got over $200,000 sitting in the account here. <laughs> and it just floored him because he assumed that he had just lost everything. Um, and because uh, he literally did not pay a single, he didn't even look at his brokerage statements. He didn't even know where his accounts were. I had to help him recover his accounts. That anyway, so he, a lot of times. He, took some, uh, he took some money out uh, of that 200 something thousand that he had in there. Uh, he took some out to pay some expenses, and we restarted his his program in October of 2020. He started uh, or restarted with 137,000, and his account value at market now is sitting at 522,000. Right now, I want to I'm going to show folks his actual brokerage statements here. Now, notice this is this is from October 30th of 2020. That was the first month that he he restarted with that 137,000. Uh, this is done in an IRA. So you guys, you can trade this in a, in a retirement account. Uh, that's one of the great things about this is instead of getting, you know, 8 to 10%, if you've got 15 years before you're going to retire and you're going to get an 8% return, 
<laughs> you're not going to retire on time, right? And Captain Jay was one of his issues was he got laid off during COVID, um, wasn't sure about his retirement. You know, he's getting near that that age. And this now gives him a shot at retirement because uh, if you look at this statement, this is from Dorman. Uh, again, uh, this was from October of 2020. You see the credits on the right hand, that's your profits, right? Your debits here uh, to the left of that, that's your commissions and your and your losses. So he started with 137,000 in October of 2020. We're gonna fast forward here. Now we're at January of 2023. So uh, the first month of this year, uh, again, this is the first page of his statement in his IRA. Again, you see some of the, the losses coming through. We don't win all the trades. I have some profits here, $2,900 profit there in the NASDAQ. So obviously he has a bigger account now. Now he's not taken out any money. He's left all this in. Uh, there's a 30, uh, about $3,900 profit there at E-mini gas, $2,400 profit there in uh, gasoline, Arbob gas. All uh, right, so you can go through these. Uh, some of the losses here in commissions and stuff, uh, $4,000 profit there uh, on the Nikkei, the Japanese. One thing, one thing I want you to just notice real quick. Yeah. There's one exception, but in most of the cases, you're seeing very small debits, but large profits pop in here and there. This one it happened to be a bad trade. He had some uh, larger losses mm -hmm. at some point. But on the whole, as you're looking through that, you're going to see him. He could he could win three trades and lose five trades and still make a killing because he's making five times to ten times as much per trade on a on the system because of the money management rules. Because you can only lose so much. The potential wins. We have, we have a big thing is we love home runs. Yes. We love home runs. We love cases where a market just takes off and it's going. The longest trend I remember was rice. That it's a very, very small account. Uh, excuse me, a small market. It's an inexpensive market. The thing is, it's very volatile. And we suffered a lot of small little stop losses in there and eventually we hit the winner and the trade lasted for a year and a half no no breaks wow. all wins continuous and he made 137,000 on that trade while his average loss per trade during that period where he had a lot of things were like uh, $104 $106 <laughs> and the such that's where we say the, you can make a lot more than you can lose as long as the trend continues. And, right. and you have to stick to the rules to follow the trend. That's and it. You might get disappointed for a while when it starts going against you. Well, that's why. Yep. I mean, there are no guarantees, it. right? In Russell trading. always said, he said, just stick with it. When people would say, oh, I've lost the last three months in a row, as Russell looks at this, you didn't lose that much. Yeah, but I still lost five losing, three losing months in a row. And Russell says, yeah, stick with it. Well, and I remember Captain Jay, his first month in October, I think he, he actually lost about twenty 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 eight twenty nine thousand dollars right. $29,000 his first month. Uh, but he didn't shake him. He stuck with it. The next month, he made that all back and more. Right. And now you see this is his account January 31st of 2023. Remember, he started with 137,000. His beginning balance now is at 495,000. Um, he added about 5,000 in uh, closed profit, but he has open trades worth $21,344. So his account value at market now is 522. So he's over half a million dollars, you right. know, going back to just uh it's about like 29 months right and that's you know we're talking that's averaging what is it like almost 100 percent mm -hmm. a year uh a total of uh i'm trying to do the numbers here in my head it's about 150 uh, 100 and, uh i'm sorry it's about 280 percent uh right. total return on right. his capital i mean 
this is phenomenal. And, you know, people are suffering in the stock market right now. They're down, you know, between 10 to 30%, right? So, and I know you spent, uh, there's another uh, testimonial from one of our uh, clients here uh, at FFR. And guys, you can always call us and we can share these brokerage statements with you, not just these, but we have others, of course, from, uh, from our clients. So you can see how they're doing in the same programs if you're thinking about uh, getting in, involved in these programs. So let's talk about the... Um, what we call learn and earn program. It's it's all the educational material that comes uh, because it's not just a signal service. You also get all the educational material that comes with the right. program. And uh, I'll just kind of go through here. And Steve, you can add, uh, uh, you get direct alerts to your email or, so, or cell. Um, so basically you set the trades up in the evening. You send out the alerts the evening before so people can set up their trades for the next day, correct? In most cases, hopefully a broker because they, you want to make that that's so important. Unless you're a full-time trader, let your broker handle it because what happens if you miss a couple of days? You can right. miss some trades. And we'll talk about uh, the access that they do have to, to third-party registered brokers that uh, execute these trades. Um, so uh, they get access to all that. They get access to you and your team. Uh, any educated questions that they have, you know, regarding the markets, regarding the strategy, um, they can uh, speak with you on that. You again, the educational material. Talk about the educational material because it's like over 400 pages of yeah. manual and and like seven hours of video with Russell Sands teaching right. this. Right. Russell teaching a whole complete seminar, usually in two days of like 13 hours over two days and uh, probably an hour of that is socializing and the rest of this is teaching knowledge. Uh, one thing about is the, the manual and the service thing is it doesn't even get to the full signal for simply that there's too much discretionary things involved in it and looking at uh, such as island reversals, such as, you know, there's like uh, 20 initiation rules. We use 10 of them, uh, the best 10. But we, we said, well, what uh, what's the best 10? What are we looking for? We're looking for of course, breakouts, we're looking at cross and moving averages. We're, I look at a lot of things that we look at. But if especially, and it's a, as a handy value, I have a lot of people that start going into the manual and they're, they're auto trading. They're not, but they still want to learn the system because they're, they're smart. Uh, there's former brokers. I have existing brokers that follow our system. They just uh, have non disclosure. They can't trade for the clients unless they buy our system mm -hmm. individually. But, uh, and oh, there's, they're not, uh, they're all registered brokers, but we have about 12 brokers, including some at, uh, uh, let's see, AJO. R.J. O'Brien, right? R.J. O'Brien, you guys five use that. individual brokers. We yeah. also have our authorized broker, which is Barbara Mann at Fox Execution, right. who trades through R.J.O. And Dave Ander, of course, her, is she's been trading for over 25 years. And she's been trading, the, she was trading uh, Russell's system when Russell was so uh, barely trading in himself learning the system uh, before I was even there. And she, she knows all the things. She'll, she'll overrule me sometimes, which a good broker will. She'll say, I can't do this for the client because it's too... I said, okay, you talk to the client about it. And, because the client is always right as long as they're not wrong. <laughs> So the thing so, is, if you follow the system the way it's written, they follow it exactly through. That's our recommendation, and that's what we truly recommend. 
if they get into uh, the the manual, which we include in every course uh, as part of the package, uh, there's a lot of information in there, especially it avoids me having to speak to a customer uh, for two weeks solid, an hour a day, explaining the system where I said, well, right. that's on page 92 of the manual. Have you read it yet? Or better yet, it's on a uh, one hour and 30 minute mark on the second DVD. <laughs> and Russell will explain that exact thing directly to you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but so, uh, it's, it's a great system. And we have clients uh, creating other system because they're smart uh, traders, but they always use ours as a guide. As they use it as one of their tools. Mm -hmm. That's and interesting. They, they use it as one of they pay all the time for renewals. <laughs> so basically, um, when we talk about these, most of the clients are not executing these trades by themselves. They're having what we, we offer, that third-party registered broker to execute the trades on your behalf. So it can right. be completely hands-free if they want it. Most clients uh, do not have the time, like I do, trading full time and following the system and seeing how the markets are going and seeing how, uh, if all the energies are moving the same way, are they moving counter <coughs> and what's going on? <coughs> Excuse me. They don't have the time or the effort. They would actually like to take a vacation for a week. During that so, vacation, they could actually be uh, hitting 10 of the biggest winners of the year that they did not trade because the stops adjust almost every day, depending on the markets. And if they do not know to buy that signal or to see the email to buy that signal because they're in France for the, for the week, and they're not watching, they're going to end up uh, missing out on a lot of trades. While you have an automated, you have an automated broker trading, a, I deal with the brokers on every day and explaining things. Uh, the brokers will be able to execute according to the customer's wishes what trades to take and what trades not to take and to follow the system as we go according to how the portfolios are set up. All right, so what we're going to do, Steve, and I appreciate uh, you going into detail with us on a lot of this stuff. Right, um, and we're running close. We've got a lot, of, a lot of questions coming in, and I want to give them time to, <clears throat> to get their questions. So let's have a little Q&A session, guys. I, I see you've been posting questions. Let me get to some of the ones that have been posted and, and, continue, and keep posting those questions here. Uh, yes, this session is uh, being recorded. Uh, you can always give us a call, too, to uh, request the recording. Um, all right, let me... Uh, Let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Daryl, I, I don't think uh, Steve was referring to when he talked about a 20% drawdown that it was on one trade. We're talking about overall. Overall, uh, that's which, like four or five trades, right? Which is a very, very acceptable uh, drawdown. Um, will this system work with stocks and ETFs? Uh, do you have any thoughts on, on that, uh, Steve? Well, we actually started an ETF system that was based on a lot of rules of the turtle system. But quite honestly, uh, it did all right, but it didn't make a killing. Uh, there's different reasons that I won't go into behind it, but we no longer sell the uh, ETF system. All right, and uh, Sid, uh, Sid, Sid asks, I've got a, a minuscule account with $2,500. Is this still a viable strategy? No. All right. And no, no, uh, $2,500 with, you can get away with like $1,200 and trade the four markets. We recommend $15, but uh, excuse me, 
12,000, we recommend 15, but you can get away with 12, but you could, with under uh, a couple thousand dollars, you can't do it. Uh, uh, you don't have the margin to trade more than one or two at one time, and you'd end up with margin calls half the time. Uh, I recommend in that case an ETF system, a Forex system, something that's more affordable for your price range. Um, and then uh, Russ asks, uh, very interested in knowing the rules. Have they been published anywhere that you know of? Yes. Uh, Steve, you've got the 400-page uh, manual waiting for them and right. uh, about seven hours of video. Um, uh, let's see. Yes, uh, Michael, this has been recorded. Uh, let's see. Mark's been trading with the Turtles uh, for a few months here. Uh, he's started with 24K, still at 24K. All right, stick with it, Mark. I think you've, uh, when you listen to Steve, uh, and I've heard this over from some of the other Turtles. I remember Curtis Faith, one of the other uh, Turtle traders, say they would they would sit around, you know, waiting for these breakouts, sometimes months, and then uh, all of a sudden a market like cocoa or sugar would just take off and they'd make more profit on that oh, one trade, sugar. <laughs> right? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Tamu wants to know, does the turtle trader manage trading account for investors? Uh, what they can do is they can open a account with one of our recommended brokers or honestly use their own broker and as long as he signs an NDA that not to trade anything else, uh, can trade with his broker. But we recommend the auto traders, uh, uh, RJ O'Brien, which clears to um, Fox Execution, uh, Barbara at uh, Zytrade, uh, Zytrade clears to Dorman. Uh, we have uh, Money Blocks. Uh, so there's about five recommended brokers. We strongly recommend three because the three, the three we recommend trade most of our clients, but also run into different issues and they uh, they could solve a lot of their problems looking at it and explain to the customer. And it's very important. Uh, money management, one of the things about money management, if you do have a series of losers before you hit the winner, uh, you might have to downsize your portfolio. That's one problem where people don't do. They either overtrade by trading too large a portfolio or too small a portfolio. And to find that balance in there, and it's pretty simple in the rules. We explain to them, uh, if you're in a nine market portfolio, and I, I handle this with phone calls all the time, and they're having a losing period, and they had one bad trade in there, and they're down to 27,000, uh, I would actually recommend cut to cut down to a six market portfolio or maybe seven with a, one of the nine markets mixed in there until you recover and then start going and then hopefully moving up from there. But you have to cut your losses, not stop trading, simply downsize, downsize your portfolio size. All Very right. Important. Yes. And now Sir, uh, Sergio just uh, mentioned that, uh, said the session is very interesting and very informative. Thank you, Sergio. Hope uh, all is well with you out there in uh, Buenos Aires. Um, uh, Lee wants to know, uh, will it work to the short trend as well as the long? The futures will. The futures trade on both sides. Uh, if you send me an email at steve at turtletalk.net, I can send you a sample orders where you could see uh, right now, I think there's eight long trades, there's 12 short trades, 
and the rest of them are flat at the moment. Uh, but yes, it does trade. We don't care which direction the trend goes as long as we jump on that direction. Okay, and that uh, that email, Steve, if you want to give that again. Steve, S-T-E-V-E, -E, at Turtle Talk, T-U-R-T-L-E-T-A-L-K, dot net. They want that. I can send them a sample order and just like tonight's order, so whatever, it doesn't matter. And you can actually see where the market is which directions we go in. You could you can actually identify trends from the orders because uh, which directions they go. And there's a lot a lot of things. I would recommend continuing on with the uh, standard license because the auto trade is I believe most of the clients I talk to do not want to be looking at charts every day, following each chart, seeing what difference the chart happened the day before and the such, and whether you the stop changes or anything else. They want an auto, they want a broker to trade it for you. And one of our auto trading brokers will trade that for you. And I believe that <laughs> So let's get let's get into and guys you can always direct your questions to us here at FFR. I'll put up the number and email here in just a bit. Okay. But let me tell you what we've we've got for you today. Uh, any new subscribers? So if you're interested in the turtle trading strategy, uh, you do need to call us because we do have to uh, make sure this is a good fit for you. Uh, as Steve talked about, it's not a good fit for everybody in every situation. So if it is a good fit, we're willing to offer you 50% off the standard license fees. You're going to get a second year of the program for free as a bonus. And Steve has also agreed to throw in the balanced trader program that he talked about that trades basically the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ futures to the long side on weakness uh, in, in an up, ongoing uptrend. Uh, you're going to get that for free. All right. But what you need to do is you need to give us a call. Like I said, not everybody uh, qualifies for this. Um, some of the questions that guys you can ask yourself as you go through here um, and as we start to wrap up uh, you know you're looking you're here for a reason right you're looking for a way to generate some income maybe, maybe it's monthly income maybe you're trying to build your retirement uh, you saw Captain J what happened to him um, he's going to have a retirement now uh, earning a few percent in a mutual fund, if you've got a you know 10 years left before you're going to retire, isn't going to cut it. You need to do something different. All right. If you're looking for a trusted source where you can learn to trade and you'd like to earn some income while you're learning, maybe you know maybe you don't have the time to do this yourself, right? Uh, you don't have the expertise to do this, like Steve talked about. Not most people, not not everybody can can do this on their own. Uh, if you're looking for strategies that you can trust. You know, I hope that we've been able to provide a potential solution for you to consider today. What I want you to do, if you have interest, if you want to uh, do a deeper dive, look at some of the other brokerage statements we have available from our clients, have this uh, explained to you in depth, you can contact us here at FFR Trading, and that is at 800-883-0524, right? If you're outside the U.S., like some of you are, 832-404-2420, or you can use the email. That's support at FFRtrading.com. Um, so again, let me just go over the offer here, guys. It's, it's important uh, because this is a lot of value for what you get. You see the kind of returns that uh, are being generated in the commodities program. And this is not just, you know, a year's worth of stuff, right? This, this, this is one of the longest running strategies out there um, you're going to get a 50% discount off the standard license fee if this is a good fit for you. Uh, you're going to get a year's free subscription, so they're going to throw in an additional year of service for free, and you're going to get the balanced trader program. That is also free when you sign up for the commodities program. All right, so this is a great value. Uh, you see the returns. Give us a call so we can just talk to you, see if it's a good fit. 
and uh, they can go over the uh, the academics of the program. Uh, they can show you brokerage statements from clients so you can see how they're doing over a period of time in these strategies uh, as well. Um, Steve, uh, yes. any any input that you have for uh, 2023 going forward here in the commodity markets? Um, yes and no. Uh, obviously, it's a trend following system and markets always trend. They may not trend at a given time that you want, but they'll trend next week or the week after or next month. Uh, we're diversified enough that we trend a lot. So it really doesn't matter whether uh, the market's going short, the market's going long, as long as they're trending. Uh, one thing that I do want to really want to say quickly is disasters whether it's economic disasters such as market collapses uh whether it's uh, a war uh whether it's an assassination anything that moves the market makes money for us a perfect example is that is when which i did do a discretionary move in when Russia attacked Ukraine, uh, the markets went crazy. Everything was collapsing. Well, you know what? We went short everything. We were short so much money, uh, basically in our existing trades, we were up 200%. So we decided then, because there were so many in the same direction, we decided when it looked like the war wasn't a full invasion or anything like that, I made a decision in the, uh, to trail off all our profits. And so we ended up with, uh, uh, I think it was two, uh, 210% on their positions. Uh, that's a $50,000 account making in a month and a half making a profit of 50 to 70,000 which became a $120,000 account it can happen that quick uh and i honestly think i believe in this system i trade this system i'm doing well in this system uh, Russell, of course, traded the system and had, of all the total traders, he was uh, number three in trading ratio. In other words, in the, the profit percentage. Uh, and he's talking about be beating Bill Dennis, uh, beating Richard Eckhart. Uh, he was down on Liz Parker's. Uh, but he was very proud of his trading record, uh, besides selling the system. He, he was a trader. He traded since the turtles were developed. He did give it up for three years and ran a blackjack pool. <laughs> uh, but then he said, you know, I'm not making enough money at Blackjack. I'm only making about 30% uh, profits for the last month. I'm going to go back to the futures again. And he, he was just a very, very smart man who was so proud of knowing and so proud to have him as a mentor. Well, that's awesome, and, and Steve, it's it's really been an honor to to be able to speak to you today. Um, like I said, you were there with Russell uh, near the beginning when this all happened, and it's one of the great stories in the trading world, uh, and one of the great strategies that, as we can see, uh, it still is performing uh, phenomenally well 
Uh, nothing is perfect. There are always drawdowns. There are always losses. But like you said, if you can control the losses, the big wins do come. Um, I remember uh, when uh, you know COVID hit. That was another period. You talked about the war. Right. In Ukraine. Another one. We made a we we made a killing on COVID. I hate to say it. Well, uh, I, I, but we did. I remember clients uh, making you know thirty seven thousand dollars on one lumber contract as the right. lumber prices skyrocketed. And then you guys made a ton of money, the same amount on the way down when the lumber started crashing. Exactly, because we make money in both directions. As both. long as the market trends, we we try to catch the trends. Uh, and if the trend, if we hit the right entry point, uh, we stand a good chance to make a lot of money. And with client, clients, such as hopefully most of these people here will be, uh, we want you to make a lot of money too. Well, and uh, you know, we, we, we're definitely sorry that, that Russell uh, passed, you yes. know, much, much too soon. Uh, we're real thankful that you're still here and you're telling the story. And that was one of the, the, you know, exciting things for me to be able to to talk to you and to, to get this kind of piece of history. And I'm glad this webinar is recorded uh, because it's something people can go back to and, uh, you know, and hear, you know, how things really were and how this all worked and how the changes that you guys have made over the years to to make this system even better. And uh, just really appreciate having you on and taking the time. I know you got you. You got some orders to put on tonight for the clients. So yeah, uh, I'm getting close to it. Uh, I have to start formatting them uh, to get the order. See, the markets close, uh, most of the markets, uh, the grains and such close in the early afternoon and the such. But most of the markets open at 6 p.m. So I have that period between 5 and 6 that nobody is trading. So I have to get the orders out to make sure the brokers have time to follow the orders to change the stop and clients on their own to follow the orders to do their stop. So um, I'm gonna be going now. I'm so, very yeah. happy to speak to you guys. Is there anything else you need? Um, that is it. We'll get. We'll let you get back to work so you can make the make some uh, money for All the right. clients here. And guys, I'll just uh, leave you again with this: uh, the special offer uh, you've got until Monday, right, to take advantage of this because we want to give you time to call in, uh, speak to one of our uh, strategists, see if it's a good fit for you. If you're a new subscriber to Turtles, it's 50% off the standard license fees. You're going to get an additional year free and you're gonna add the balance trader uh, free as well. Um, so uh, an amazing, amazing uh, package here. Give us a call, here's the numbers. Uh, let's just see if it's a good fit for you. And if it's not, we'll let you know, right? 800-883-0524. Again, outside the US, I know there's a good number of you outside the US here. It's 832-404-2420. And you can always email us at support at FFRtrading.com. We'll go through all this information for you, go through all the details um, with a with a fine tooth comb, show you the brokerage statements. All right, guys, so that is it. We appreciate you being here. You can also contact us uh, if you want a copy of the recording as well, and we can uh, we can send that out to you. All right, uh, great having everybody here. I hope this has uh, been useful to you. Everybody have a great rest of your, tw uh, your trading week, and we'll see you back in the next webinar.